when someone has wronged us or has abused us in some way, uh, we either have feelings of hostility and resentment. We must file a suit. <laughs> no, in a minor, in a minor sense, if they uh, abuse us or or if they wrong us, we sometimes have feelings of uh, resentment and hostility against them, and sometimes we might tend to forgive them and let it go. So uh, my question here is. Uh, where, where must we draw a line to uh, hold the wrongdoer responsible for what he does mm. and where and when, when should we know to forgive him and when should we know to let it go? So, this is the question. See, this is not about the other person. The choice for you is this. If you are given a choice, right now for all of you, if you are given a choice that you can either live joyfully, blissfully or miserably, or in anger, or in stress, or in resentment, what is your natural choice? You must choose, I'm going to bless you right now. What is your natural choice? Joyfully, isn't it? Because every human being is looking for highest level of pleasantness for himself or herself. You can call it joy, you can call it bliss, these are just words. Essentially, we want highest level of pleasantness for ourselves. If your body becomes pleasant, we call this health. If it becomes very pleasant, we call this pleasure. If your mind becomes pleasant, we call this peace. If it becomes very pleasant, we call this joy. If your emotions become pleasant, we call this love. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it compassion. If your very life energies become pleasant, we call this bliss. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it ecstasy. If your surroundings become pleasant, we call this success. Only to… only to make your surroundings pleasant, you need the cooperation of all these people. Because in creating an external situation, there are many forces involved. Not all of them you even know, you understand? You want to do create a, a wonderful situation for yourself, you don't even know how many forces are working in that area, if you harness a few forces, if they cooperate, things will happen. If they don't cooperate, it won't happen. But for the pleasantness of the body, pleasantness of the mind, pleasantness of your emotion and energy, it's one hundred percent you. Yes or no? Yes. Surroundings, creating situations in the surroundings, you need cooperation from the people, otherwise it won't happen. So only for success, you need cooperation. To keep yourself pleasant is one hundred percent yours. So right now, you know well that you want to be peaceful, but somebody else is doing something. What are they doing? They know what… what they know best. They're abusing you. Why are they doing it? Because that's all they know. Yes or no? That is what… that is how they know their life. That's why they're doing it. If you become resentful and you think something will happen to them, see these are things. Anger, resentment, hatred, these are all poisons that you drink and you expect somebody else to die. No, life doesn't work like that. You drink poison, you die. It's a very fair life. <laughs> if you drink poison, you die. Very fair, isn't it so? I drink poison and you die, is it fair? So, people who are in anger, resentment, hatred, this is their thing. They are drinking poison. When I say poison, I am not saying in a moral sense. There is substantial medical evidence right now that we can show you with a blood test that five minutes before f you take your blood test right now, five minutes you may remain in extreme anger and take your blood test, you will see you are chemically poisoned actually. So you are literally poisoning yourself thinking it's going to hurt them. No, it's only going to hurt you. So it doesn't make sense to me, that's all. It's not a morality whether you should get angry or not get angry. It's up to you if you want to make a mess out of yourself.